Welcome back gamers, my name is Keith Hershey and in this video I'm going to go over the GM side of the combat tracker. Okay, so we're going to open this up. I still have my combat encounter we had built using the orcs. Um, so I'm going to briefly go over um, some areas of that. Um, in that tutorial with the combat encounter I briefly went over how the visibility works. That is the eyeball icon here. Let me open up the map here, so we can go along. Oops, wrong one. Clearing in the forest. There we go. All right. So anyhow, um, in the last um, video, we had described if um, this character that was coming down here into the um, clearing, uh, these orcs scattered around the clearing here are waiting in ambush the PC was able to spot these three uh, lying in wait. Um, so anyhow, that's why those three are visible and the other ones are not. If we want to make them all visible, we just click the eye icon and they're all visible. Or you can manually select, turn on which ones are visible to the players. Now, uh, take in for um, account if there is a mask let me show you this alright let's go ahead and do this and let's say okay he um, uh, let's kind of clear out this clearing a little bit Okay, there we go. We'll exit out of the uh, mask mode. Actually, let me unmask this area over here as well. Alright, now we'll exit out. Okay. So let's say um, he's looking in this direction. He makes his perception check. And he sees Orc Raider 5, 6, and 9. So we'll go ahead and make those visible. 5, 6, and 9. And you'll see that over on his side. Oh. Alright, let's share that out so he can see what we're doing. Okay, so if you look from his view, he looks over there and he can see those three orcs. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if you make everything visible. So we're going to make all these creatures visible. And now we're going to look from the player's side. Um, Take into note, we do have a shaman back over here, some berserkers there, and we have another raider here that are visible, but they're in the mask zone. So if we go over to Fantasy Ground, or over to the player's side, and look, he still only sees these three orcs. He doesn't see the other ones because those have not been unmasked, even though we have turned the visibility on for those particular creatures. Okay. Um, next thing, of course, you guys have seen the initiative, the hit points. Uh, this box here is for temporary hit points. Let's say the shaman casts a spell, giving him 10 uh, temporary uh, hit points. We can show that there. Let's say berserker number 9 takes um, 5 points of damage. It's green. And then also on the player's side, we open up the combat tracker. Number seven is going to show up as light. Uh, let's say we change that to 15. It's still light. Alright, because he's got 66 hit points. Alright, let's go with 33. He's bloodied. He's bloodied there. And we'll go down to 60. It's still going to show bloodied. Um, there is an extension out there by Dr. Zeus, or it might be someone else actually where there's more than just uh, light and bloodied and then dying. Um, you can check that out on your own. Actually, I think I'll be making a video here shortly on those enhancements and how to add them in. Okay. Another thing is over here, you could see the current surges um, available. Uh, you'll see Humor Me Fool doesn't have any because I haven't put any in, the, in there. So let's... Uh, we'll put in there that he's got seven here. So now it shows seven. Okay. 
the next thing we have here is the uh, faction. Um, let's say the orc shaman here, I have Grumpsh, is not an enemy, but he's neutral. So we can change that to neutral. Um, okay, so on the player side there, it shows up as uh, gray. Or we can change it to a friendly unit, like so. Okay, so it doesn't show up as the red background, showing that he's an ally. But he is a meanie. Okay, then the next thing here is we have the targeting area. And once we click that, you'll notice it opens up for whoever you did that for. And here it will list it'll show a, a portrait of anyone that it's currently has targeted. So let's say we want to target Humor Me Fool there. So we're going to drag this uh, button here. You can drop it right here on the portrait, which is usually how I do it. It makes it really easy. Just drag it and drop it on the portrait. Or, let's see here, if we just click it, it goes away. Or we can drag and drop onto the actual token. Okay. And then if it was the orc's turn. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now he's got it targeted. Okay, so um, you can see here what his initiative uh, bonuses, if he has any action points available his attacks that he has available. Uh, if we click the sword icon, it will show that as well. Um, let me let me click on one. Let's say it's I Grumpsh. It gets an opportunity attack. We can open it up and look at all his different attacks. Okay. If we click the shield icon, you can see all the defenses of the token in play. If we click the grid icon, that's your movement, which will show how sp your speed, your size, your reach. Okay, this icon here is for effects. It'll show any effects currently on the mom. Let's say we want to make him blinded. There you go, so you can see that. Okay, um, and let's say you need to um, read up a uh, maybe the, one of these creatures has an effect uh, let's say the, probably the Eye of Grumps here so let's go ahead and knock it down okay this Eye of Wrath uh, see where it says EFF that means there's some type of effect that he also has that you can drag and drop so if you click the little link icon here it will open up the MP sheet for that particular creature where you can find out what Eye of Wrath does Scroll down and see target takes negative four penalty to AC say versus in that's the effect there so if, if that were to happen we could just drag and drop that onto the portrait or onto the token or onto the uh, PC and the actual combat tracker as well all right so now if we look down he's got the negative four okay also from here you can select um, him as being the current um, chat target through here as well. Um, anyhow, well, let's see here. Some other options. Uh, you can click next actor as you're going through. You can drag and drop the flag icon which um, let's say you want to skip right over nine and go down to humor you can drag and drop it right on his uh, little dot next to his token there and it will automatically make it his turn um, let's say you're in combat and let's say this is a player here and he wants to delay his action until after humor me fools his, his initiative is nine so what you would do you just click there and change that to let's say eight point nine so you know that's going to put it right behind humor me full okay um, let's see here we also um, down here it will show you what 
current round it is. Um, you can automatically make it the next round, like so. Um, the other thing you have is the menu. If you right click on this menu, you'll get some options where you can delete all the NPCs from the tracker, which, eh, we'll go ahead. No, we won't do that yet. We're going to do initiative. Let's say um, we're going to clear all their initiatives. Let's say we want to go ahead and roll the initiatives for all the NPCs. So we can go ahead and do that, and it will automatically put it in for them all. Uh, or uh, we'll clear that out. Let's say we want to roll initiative for everybody, including the PCs, right there. As you can see, everyone, including the PCs, got theirs. And then, of course, so there is the role for just the PC initiative. And you'll see that he's up there. All right, let's say it's the end of the combat. These guys are all dead or dying. And we want to go ahead and delete them from the tracker. We're going to right-click on the menu button and click on... Um, delete NPCs from the tracker. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright. Let's say we want to clear um, effects and whatnot on everybody. We can do clear all effects. Or we can clear expiring effects by right clicking, going to effects. Also from the menu here, we also have the rest function. Where you can have the party make a short rest short rest plus the milestone or an extended rest so if we do that extended rest it heals them up it resets all their powers and whatnot anyhow that pretty much covers the combat tracker for fantasy grounds i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe Leave your suggestions and comments down below. And as always, if you have a request for a video, please let me know and I'll get one out for you. Anyhow, happy gaming and we'll see you around next time.